So next, we're going to get to Anvil. Preparation. Assuming a default installation of Mac OS X, we need to delete the contents of the web server's root directory with the following command. Done. Now we need to change in the web server's root directory. Now we just need to download Anvil. That is downloaded. Now we just need to untar that. We need to perform a cleanup by removing the Anvil download package. Now time for the web-based install. So we'll open up a new tab and we want to go to localhost. Here's the end user license agreement. Agree, continue. It's doing its initial testing. Everything looks is looking good. Okay, now this is where we want to make sure we have all the information correct. So the database server, 127.0.0.1, which is essentially localhost. The database name is AnvilDB, the one we created earlier. The username root with no password. AnvilDB, username root, no password. That looks good. Tables created, loaded. And then here's our default username and password, root inspector. We can now log in. Okay, so here's your basic install of Anvil. Now that it's up and running, there are a few things we need to do. As you see here, we have a message that says the console BPUs are not running and required to, uh, for the console to operate correctly. We can further see that they aren't running by looking down here. These, these three lights here, they will be green when everything's up and running. So next, we need to start the BPUs. To do that, we need to change into the apps directory. And then with the following command, Background processors are launched. Come back here, refresh, there we go. These are all green and our warning message went away. Next, we want to install the SMTs. The SMTs or sensor management tools allow Anvil to, to communicate with and manage Snort, its configuration and signatures. You don't need the SMTs to have Anvil run but they are recommended and where we're right here, we're just gonna keep going and we'll show you those advantages as well. So first, we're just gonna copy the SMTs because they do come with every Anvil install. So we're in that directory. I mean, sorry, we copied that and then we wanna to get to the SMT directory. Now we need to um, edit its comp file. Comp.php. Okay. Here we have an 11 digit ID known as the SMT ID. This needs to match, and I'm just going to make it simple here, ending in one. This just needs to match the snort sensor that we configure inside Anvil. Console host. Here's the local host, the console path, nothing additional there.
Now we need to change these commands to the appropriate start stop to be used in order to properly stop and start snort. Make sure we have everything correct there. Launch control load. That one looks good. Make sure we can stop it. That looks correct. Okay. That looks correct, so we will save those changes. Okay. Configure the Snort module. After you've successfully logged an Anvil console, you will need to configure and enable the Snort module to allow Anvil to import and normalize events from the Snort database configured in previous steps. Okay, we can do that. We'll come to sensor, I'm sorry, console configuration here. We'll need to first go under Snort module, we'll first need to go to settings. Enable the database. The database name is Snort. The host name, localhost. Username, root. There's no password. We can enable the database trimming, and this feature is designed to help keep your Snort database within reasonable limits. The console will automatically trim the Snort database as it imports data, removing oldest events first. So I'm just going to enable that. Now we know if everything is entered correctly. When we go to sensor configuration, no, we don't see any sensors here. So go back to settings. And as a tip we have over here, for Snort databases located on the same system as the console, try 127.0.0.1 or localhost. We're going to try this. There we go. There's our sensor. So I'm going to enable it. We can give it its name. Snort. And then OS X. We can give it a time zone. Then the SMT ID, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and update. We want to enable the user permissions. If this is not selected, you won't be able to see this sensor at the main screen. There we go. Now we can see that there's one active sensor.